So this is my story. My story is about the time in the 12th grade. It was a beautiful sunny day. We met up with a bunch of really good guys. My new art friends. Uh, my buddy and I, Max. My friend Tanner. Megan and Phil. Colin and my friend Jennifer. So, grabbed a nice large chicken club pizza. We decided to head down to the labyrinth. It's just here in town. Without supervision or anything. It's really scary because when we got there... One of my buddies points out... It's fucking... Tall and green. Really tall. Goat man! Basically looked like a goat. And I was just like, holy shit, who is this guy? He tells what, I can't remember what it was, but it was at the time the funniest fucking thing. We hung out for a couple hours and skimboarded all day. It was pretty beautiful. I was so stoked. We were having a few drinks. Straight up booze. Everyone's just absolutely hammered. And, you know, it was all fun and we were like wrapping up the evening. And all of a sudden some witch comes after me and I'm running and I'm running. Thinking, I'm pretty fast, I'm pretty fast, I got this. And we were trespassing because it was, you know, so we're like, shit. That was terrifying, so we like took off where this big death trap is. The next thing I know, I wake up in a cell. I knew immediately that I'd fucked up real bad. Oh shit. It's basically an eight foot drop into just black. So we couldn't leave. We're imprisoned in the labyrinth. And I was like, no, this is it. But that's not where the weirdness stops, because some random old lady, actually the closest thing I've seen to a orc. That was kind of like the orcs in Lord of the Rings. Had a whiny little voice. Not really making eye contact. So then we were like, what is that? It's kind of weird. The oddest, like, creepiest experience. Really terrifying. Really terrifying. And it was about to attack me. Of course, in the reaction, I fucking swing my bottle and put her to bed. Just covered in blood. Girl power. I was like, what the hell? Like, we gotta get home. And Max was an incredibly inventive man. I mean, he scrounged up all these like random items. Bear maze. Three knives. A rag. An umbrella. Wax. Snacks. We need chips and stuff. Spaghetti and Heineken's. Uh, vodka, lemonade, and soda water. Delicious drink. Frisbees and balls. Some other stuff. So he fashioned these big ladder. Five feet, 14 feet, more than 40 feet up. It's like two whole stories. I actually don't remember. I remember I looked really good. So anyway, we're all in like survival mode, trying to escape and then there's kind of like this little, this little window. It's like just enough for a person to kind of squeeze out. It was like pretty difficult. You had to like climb on these like big blue doors all the way up. So we did that and we got up, but all of a sudden, and I looked down and Darth Maul was there looking up. So that was one of the scariest moments of my life, I think. And I guess I thought I was being a bit of a pussy. And I thought it'd be a great idea to hit him in the face. Fucking hilarious. He managed to do a full 180. Twisted and broken. My hand slips. I was on the ground. And everyone's just being like, hey, are you okay? And I'm just like, no, 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 I was so choked. And I'm like, freaking out. I mean, like, and then all of a sudden it just hit me. This giant, giant god. And he grabbed me in his attempt to save me. I'm not even mad. He is absolutely incredible. Great curly black hair. Super groovy. And he's like, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I said, oh, okay. That's, that's interesting. And I didn't know what to say to him. And before I know it, he's on top of me. Oh, oh man, like what a sweet guy. Pretty stoked. So we decided to get stoned. And it was just marvelous. It was really awesome. Super awesome. Absolutely. Good times. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know where we're going with this anymore. Yeah, fun night. End it there. That was my story. It was supposed to sound way cooler than it did, but... I'm, I'm done here. Peace out, bitches!